Bobby Dean, look, we back in New York City, baby. Glutton for punishment. Couldn't get enough the first time. <laughs> I mean, it's such a big melting pot, dude. It really is. You know what, Jamie? That means that you can get any kind of food that you want here. And today, we're going to swing into Artopolis and Queens and have some Greek desserts. Then we're going to head over to the East Village and check out Zozo's for some chocolate brownie mint gelato. And finally, to the Upper East Side, to David Burke and Donatella to get some sweet gourmet cheesecake pops. Foods we're checking out today can all be shipped to us at home. Well, I think that sounds good, but I know driving here sucks, so let's dump the car. Pull over, dude. Let's ditch this thing ASAP. Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Bobby. And, and our, our mom, mom is Paula, Paula Dean. Dean. We've been running our family restaurant for over 18 years. We think the best food in America is made by homegrown local businesses like our own. So we're traveling off the beaten path in search of the best food out there to bring it all home to you. Are you ready, bro? I'm ready, brother. Dude, Orchard Street is the center of the Lower East Side of Manhattan. It's so diverse. They've got all kinds of stuff down here, and that's what makes the flavor of the food so good. I tell you what, a hot day like today, I could go for something cold. Ooh, how about some ice cream, man? Italian ice cream. Gelato? Gelato. Ooh. And Chiara at Zozo's makes a classic American gelato. It's inspired by the Italian stuff, but she puts her own twist on it. She's got flavors like coffee, banana brulee, peanut butter fluff, but her all-time bestseller is a chocolate brownie mint. Shut up. She's the only person in New York that does it. The papers rave about her, and she ships anywhere. Ooh, chocolate brownie mint. Here we come. Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. And you must be Kyria. I am. Hey, Kyria, I'm Bobby. I'm great. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure I'm Jamie. To nice to see you. you. I can smell the gelato from the street. Because it's amazing. <laughs> Could you really? Yeah, I really That's can. why. So, gelato with an American twist, but there's something I heard that I can't believe. Do you actually use marshmallow and peanut butter in a gelato? I do. I do. Inspired by the Fluffernutter sandwich we have. That's it? Peanut wow. butter marshmallow gelato. I came for the brownie mint, and I want to help you make some. I want to see how you do it. I want you to help me make some. It's going to be awesome. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So here we are. This looks like it's where the magic happens. Behind the scenes. This is where the magic happens. We have chocolate right here. Okay. What you know about chocolate? I know a lot about chocolate. Thank you very much. Try some milk chocolate. I've had milk chocolate before. Where do you get this from? From Switzerland. From uh, a company called Des Alps, Albert Uster. It's amazing. You pull it my is, leg or are you being serious? You don't I get this in New York? A hundred percent serious. It comes from Switzerland. Yes. That is wow, so creamy and delicious. Isn't so that great. fabulous? Wow, it really is amazing. Awesome. Now what's this? That's bittersweet chocolate. What's this big boy right here? That's what I cook with. That's one hundred percent chocolate paste. It looks so great. Yes, it does. You wanna try some? Of course. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. As I said, 100% chocolate paste, so there isn't any sugar or any cream to open it up. It is Very just... Very disappointing. But when I put it in my brownies, it becomes fabulous. So this is and the one that we're going to cook with. Yes, it is. That's what we're going to cook cocoa. with. Yes. And once we mix this with other things like butter, sugar, oh, sugar. flour, <laughs> eggs, this cocoa paste will release all of its beauty and the other things we're adding to it will open up the flavor. Mm. So they'll take away that sort of tannin edge that you get at the end it's it feels so like it's dry, really dry just, against your uh, tongue yeah it'll open it right up and it'll be so intense wow. and yummy well let's yep. make some what do we okay. do okay we're gonna make our gelato base we're gonna start with fresh cream love cream love cream who doesn't sugar love sugar egg yolks mm -hmm. uh -huh. peppermint extract little green food coloring green food coloring some salt yes cool well let's get started let's cook okay. some how much cream you got here well, we have two quarts here. We're going to pour those in. And this is heavy cream, obviously? It is heavy cream and milk. What's next? Sugar. Sugar? So, Kiera, is gelato the Italian word for ice cream, or is there a difference between ice cream and gelato? There's actually a difference. Gelato is the European ice cream. It's called gelato. It's milk, cream, sugar, and egg yolks. Low percentage of cream in contrast with the milk. In America, we're about equal cream, equal milk, sugar, and no egg yolks. Mm. So there's very little emulsification in American ice cream. So we're going to grab some of our other ingredients and start getting this. 
I would, please. <laughs> I'm tempering the eggs right now. This warms up those cute little yolks. We're gonna dump that right in here. And very quickly. And that's it, we're just gonna strain this. All right, so clearly this is hot. Yes, it is. We're going to need to cool this for a few hours, but first I have a couple extra things we need to add into this so it becomes mint gelato. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta add some sort of a food coloring, mm -hmm. and we're gonna add the peppermint, right? Yes. This is really strong. It's really strong. That's also made in Switzerland, but it's really the most phenomenal peppermint that I've ever found. It has just a really clean and intense flavor. And that's it. That's gelato. You freeze it at this point or just cool it? This just is cool a, it. So just this goes cool into it. a fridge. Exactly. For about three hours? For about three hours. While we're cooling, we're going to make our brownies. All righty. One step closer. Making the brownies. I've done this before. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Have you made them by hand or have you used a mix? To the truth. Mix. But I've made brownies before. <laughs> well, you'll see how easy it is to just use a Show recipe. Me. Show me. We're going to start with sugar, a little bit of salt, some flour. <laughs> We're going to mix all of our dry ingredients together. Okay. And then how many eggs you got there? I have eight eggs here. Eight eggs. Is this just yolks or is this eight entire Whole eggs? eggs? Okay. You want to stir those sure, up? Sure, yeah. We're adding in the melted chocolate and melted butter. We're going to whisk that into what we already have mixed together. All right, so we're just going to transfer the brownie mixture into the pan sure. and take it into the oven. Now, how long does this have to bake? Just for about 15 minutes at 325. 15, 15 minutes at 325. That's it. All right, let's do it. Wow, All let's right. Let's do it. This is my gelato freezer. We're going to put our gelato base in this machine. It's going to turn around and the outside is going to freeze. And it's all going to mix together and become a homogenous, frozen, creamy, yummy stuff. Mm -hmm. How long does it take? Um, well, it depends on a couple of things, but it should take about 10 minutes. Well, if you don't get started, we're going to have a problem. That's true. So let's go. All right, let's do it. You're it's going to end bad. All right, so I'm just going to turn on the machine, and in about 10 minutes, we'll have mint gelato. Okay. It's almost done, too. Look, it's freezing. Yeah. Because I can see frozen <laughs> ice cream in there. Hey, okay. what, what do you think? Gelato. <laughs> you guys want to help me get the brownies in? Sure, yeah. All right, awesome. So, Kiara, we have done finally. Please, can we eat? Absolutely, let's go. Give Take me. these guys up. Wow, it's my favorite part. Look how great. It looks awesome. It really Thank does. Thank you so much for helping me today, guys. Oh, thanks for having us. The mouth water and the brownies and the gelato are struck. They're having a fight. Ooh. <laughs> mm. I think the brownies are winning. It's so light and refreshing. Yeah, I got to have some of this at my house. How are you going to get it to me? We're going to pack it up with dry ice and ship it anywhere in the continental United States. And it's not going to melt. It'll be Styrofoam, yummy. dry ice. Get it to me before it melts. Absolutely. Swear. Swear. <laughs> Scout's honor. This stuff is great. Thank you. Let's have a cheers. Y'all want to? Cheers, baby. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> if you're interested in mint-flavored gelato with rich, chocolatey, browny chunks inside, go to foodnetwork.com. Next, honey glazed galactoborico, a traditional Greek pastry that can be shipped to your door. Now you'll really be put to the test. Try mopping my brow a little bit. Come on. You're worse than my mom. <laughs>